For those of you who don't have a sewing machine or feel intimidated by one, I'm going to show you how to make a dog dress using a hot glue gun. Okay, to get started, we're going to use some fabric that I have on hand here, scissors, glue sticks, and a glue gun. Let's do this. First things first, let's trace out our pattern and cut out two pieces of this bodice. Next, I'm going to measure out six inches for my dog skirt and mark that across the fabric here. I have my fabric doubled over, so I have plenty of length. Now that I have my pattern pieces cut out, I'm gonna move my skirt material aside and we're going to work on the bodice. I'm simply going to open up my two bodice pieces and I'm going to put them good sides facing each other. So this one's good side up and this one will be good side down and sandwich them right together, matching them up as best as possible. And now using my heat gun, I'm going to start gluing this shut all the way around the bodice, but not on the bottom side. So I'm gonna start over here and run a thin little line of glue. And I'm gonna work my way around. Be careful as glue can be very hot to the touch. And just try to keep this about a quarter of an inch from the raw edge. And finally down on the very edge of the side strap. Allow that to all cool down, but go ahead and carefully cut off your corners without cutting into your glue. You can kind of feel where your glue is, but go ahead and get rid of some of this extra bulk on the corners. And you can even go in here and cut in some notches so this all bends nicely. Anywhere that there's a curve, just don't cut into your glue because that is holding it together. And now we can flip this right side out very gently. Okay, this is completely enclosed. As you can see, my hot glue is keeping these seams together. But remember, not all hot glue is as strong as the next one. Some of them are not, um, don't have a very good bond, so that will make a difference. Okay, next let's move this aside and work on our skirt. So here's the piece that I cut out for my dog's skirt. I'm gonna open it up, and I have about 42 inches in length here, and I cut mine to six inches long for the dog's body. So what I'm going to do is flip this upside down and I'm gonna start on one end here and I'm gonna hem this edge under. So I'm gonna have to bring this fold up once and then one more time and then I will stick a little bit of glue under here to hold that in place. And I'll continue to do this all the way around or rather all the way along the bottom edge of this skirt piece to give myself a nice hem. Now I'm finding that the easiest way to go about folding this over twice and gluing it is to fold it about a quarter of an inch over, just about you know, two to three inches wide, and then another quarter of an inch, and then holding it taut with one hand and slipping the nozzle of the glue gun right underneath here and squeezing a bead of glue and then pressing it. 
and moving down the length, continuing to do this. I would say these are probably about two inch long sections and it really just goes quite quickly. So fold it over once and then again and slip the nozzle of my glue gun under and press it over and we'll just get this very little edge. Okay, so now that I have that whole bottom length glued under for a nice hem, I'm gonna do the same to the side edges. Same exact process over once, twice, and then I'm gonna start gluing underneath here. And moving to the other side. Okay, now that I have hemmed the whole side and bottom of the skirt, I'm going to flip it back over to the front side. In order to gather all of this skirt up, I think it'll be too hard to glue this all into a big ruffle. It's easier to do that on the sewing machine, but since we're not using the sewing machine, I think we'll do pleating, and I believe with pleating, we can use the glue gun. So when it comes to pleating, I like to use the fork method. I have two different size forks here. Here's a standard one, and here's a really large serving fork. I'm gonna go for the larger fork because I think it'll make our pleating go a lot quicker. So all you do is stand towards your fabric. If I'm behind the fabric right here, my fabric's going up. I would put the fork with the bottom prong through the material, and then I would turn this fork away from me. Now your first pleat, you really gotta figure out where to start. I'm gonna go about here and flip it. And as I flip it, I'll just line up the edge of this material. And now I'm gonna take my glue and right here along this edge where this overlaps it, I'm gonna glue along there at the very top and push my fabric down. Just keeping your fabric straight. You might wanna keep one hand over here to keep this all lined up straight and then slip in your fork and pleat away. Keeping this edge as straight as possible, slip in your glue. As we're pleating this material, keep in mind that you want the finished width of this skirt to fit right in between these arm side straps. So you might wanna measure out how far that is for me, we're at about seven inches. So my finished skirt needs to be seven inches. As you can see, I have a lot of material right now, but that will also help you to keep in mind about how many pleats you need. So right now, I'm already at, at this point here, about two and a half. So I need to make sure all this material meets into here. Okay, I'm coming up here on my last pleat. I'm gonna do this one by hand by just pulling this up and bringing it over, measuring to see if I'm where I need to be. Oops, I'm a little bit big, so I'm gonna actually make that pleat even bigger. That looks better. So I'm gonna glue that one down right there, like so. So now I have my cute little pleated skirt. If you think you need glue in some other areas, throw it in. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I am going to bring my bodice back over and I'm gonna open it up and push this back edge out of the way. So I'm only dealing with one piece of fabric and lay this nice and flat like so. Now I'm gonna take our skirt and I'm gonna flip it upside down like so on top of the bodice. And I'm going to center it between Let's do this again, between these side straps from here to here. I want those edges. So I'm gonna carefully put it upside down like so. And I'm going to take my hot glue and start gluing this raw edge of the skirt up with the raw edge of the bodice. Just a close little bead of glue right here, about a quarter of an inch from the raw edge and push my material down and do this all the way along, securing it into place. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure it's good and secure and then go ahead and flip your skirt back down and over. And now we can flip the whole dress over to the back side. Just push your little pleats down and now we're going to cover up this raw edge of material. Pull the back side of the bodice over and take the material and fold it under one time until it covers up this raw material of the skirt and put a bead of glue in between the skirt and the bodice right here and press it into place. Now we're going to do this all the way along the edge of the raw material on the skirt, folding our bodice material over it to give it a nice finished edge. When we get to the side straps, simply curl those under one time all the way around like so. And if you're having difficult holding it into place, you could always take a needle and secure it as you glue and run a little bead of glue right there too to hold the back and the front of the strap together. And do that on the other side. And as you can see, this is nice and clean and no raw material is showing. If you notice any areas that need some extra glue, pop it in. And from the front, this looks great. Nobody would ever guess that you've glued this together. But let's add some pretty little embellishments to the waistline. Okay, I dug through my stash of ribbons and I found this soft little yellow ribbon, which is not exactly the color of the yellow in this dress, but I think it will work. And I also found this kind of red rickrack. And I played around with it, just laying it across the dress and seeing if I would like it plain. But then I thought this was pretty cute to layer the rickrack on top of the yellow. So I want this to go from side strap to side strap. So what I'm going to do first is cut a section of the yellow ribbon to the length I desire. And then I'm gonna cut it about half an inch longer to be on the safe side. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same with this piece of rickrack. So now I am going to start with the yellow ribbon. And ribbon does tend to fray, so you can either use a lighter to melt the edge, which I recommend doing, um, but you could also fold it under about a quarter of an inch and start right there and glue it down. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So over here in the corner or on the side strap right there, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and I'm gonna start by going in this direction, pressing that on. And then I'm gonna bring it back on itself and come all the way along the very edge of the side strap. So I'm gonna run a little ribbon of hot glue and just get this right up to the edge there and do the same along the waistband here. Just continue all the way along. and stop before you get to the very edge. That way we can decide how much we need to cut off or how much we need to fold under. I think I can fold mine under about half an inch and it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna put my glue down, fold that piece under and tuck it on top, just like so. Now I'm gonna take my rickrack and glue it across the edge here. And if you'd like to, you can also do the same with these edges, fold them under a bit, or go ahead and singe them with um, a lighter, or you could even put a little tiny bit of glue right there on the edge and just take off the excess, and that will keep it from fraying. But I'm gonna come down here and put some glue right down the center and lay my rickrack right on top. Thank you. 
And when you get to the edge, cut it to where you need it to end. I'm gonna do the little glue trick again, just so that my edges won't fray. And finish it off here. <laughs> I think that looks really adorable, I love it. Okay, and I love bows, so I'm gonna make a simple little bow, I believe, to go right here in the center. And I'm gonna do that by looping my ribbon over just like so to get an idea of how big I want my bow. This one here is about two inches and I'm gonna hold it up to the dress and see if that looks about right. If I want it bigger or smaller, I can. I'm gonna go a little bigger and see if I like that better. No, I actually don't. So I'm gonna go back down a bit. I think right there is perfect. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. And then with this little, I'm gonna move my dress aside. With this strip of material, I'm gonna bring it around to a loop and put a bead of glue here to close it off. And then I'm gonna cut one more piece of ribbon to go around this. So I'm going to figure out about how much I need to wrap around right about there. Make sure the seam that you made is on the bottom and in the back middle portion. And then you can put a little dab of glue right in the middle here to secure your center strap. And then flip it over. Make sure that's even. And then I'm gonna put glue here and bring this one around the back. It's hanging over a little too far for me, so I'm gonna snip that away. And then bring this one over as well with a little glue. Secure it and snip away that extra. And now I have this little bow and I'm going to find the center of my dress. And I'm going to add the glue right underneath here. Pretty good size dab and hold that down till it's nice and secure. All that's left to do is add Velcro closures to our straps. So I have a little box of two inch wide Velcro here. I'm gonna pull it out and cut the right amount. And now I'm gonna put the scratchy side to the top of this side strap. I'm going to just put it on my Velcro and then lay it across, press it down firmly. And then on the opposite strap, I'm gonna not put it on the top, I'm gonna put it on the bottom side. And this will be the soft side of the Velcro. So put some glue down, hold it into place. Make sure you put enough glue because when you open and close this Velcro, you don't want it to rip off of the dress. And just be mindful when you are putting the dress on your dog and removing it, that this Velcro is only glued on. It's not as strong as if we were to sew it. And so we're gonna do the same to the um, neck straps, the scratchy piece of the material on the top here. And on the opposite strap, we're gonna put it on the underside. And this is the soft um, piece of Velcro. And all that's left to do is pull away all your little glue strings because we all know how hot glue goes. There's little strings for days. But there you have it. We just made a dog dress with hot glue. We did not use a sewing machine or thread and needle, just simply 
hot glue. And it looks totally great. I mean, I nobody else would know that this was made with a hot glue gun. Of course, it is not going to hold up to washing and drying. It will not hold up to wear and tear. It's not as strong as something that we made with the sewing machine. But this was fun and it's something that you could do. In fact, your child could probably do this. You could do a little project with them. And if you use a hot glue like I use, it's a low temp glue gun, it doesn't burn your fingers. I never felt um, pain while I was gluing this and I have burnt my fingers with a hot glue gun before. <laughs> I'm sure we all have. But I think that this turned out cute. I had fun making it. It went so quick. It was just a really fast project and it looks great on all edges. We don't have any raw material hanging out anywhere. So let's try this on Miss Posey. All right, here's little Miss Posey. We're gonna strap this on around her body and her neck. Get everything fluffed up just right. And how cute is that? Posey, this is your first dress made out of hot glue. <laughs> I think it turned out really darling. It was so simple to make, and I'll probably never make one out of hot glue again, but it was fun to try. Don't you think, sweetheart? It was. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you're afraid to use a sewing machine, try using a hot glue gun to make your dog a dress. It really is so easy. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up.